working. So there was this poll on a channel called Ellie Dashwood, and it went along the lines of, who is your least favorite Austin bad guy? And it kind of made me realize something that I didn't realize when I first, like, when I first read Pride and Prejudice, because if I remember right, I saw um, the Kira Knightley adaptation of Pride and Prejudice when I was pretty young, like, I don't know if I was like 12, 13, 14, or <laughs> somewhere around that age range. I don't remember off the top of my head now, but I saw that when I, when I was quite young, and so I didn't necessarily realize the implications of Wickham hitting on Georgiana and Lydia, because if I remember correctly, um, Georgiana, I feel like Darcy has some speech like she was, she like, his sister was like, was not yet 15 or she was just 15 or something. So she is some, when Wickham is hitting on her, she's somewhere around like 14, 15, 16 ish. And like, when I was, when I, like, when I was a teenager, like, I was, like, teenage girls were like, oh, that might, like, sometimes you have idealized ideas of, like, oh, that's so romantic, like, he's so charming, he's so lovely, but it's, like, wait, this is a guy who's, like, her brother, probably, like, her brother's age, and he's, like, what is it, like, I don't know, like, a decade older than her, um, you have a guy who's, like, way older than her hitting on, like, a teenage girl, and that's really freaking creepy. Like, Wickham, like, today, like, I think we might consider him to be, like, a predator. Like, it's, Wickham's, like, a lot worse than, like, I even thought, like, when I was first introduced to Pride and Prejudice. And then, too, like, Lydia in this series, she's the youngest of five daughters. And I remember from some conversation with, like, Catherine de Bourgh that, Lydia, that Lizzie was having that, like, she, Lydia's, not, like, Catherine's, like, surprised that, like, all five of them are out in society at once. Because typically, if I'm understanding correctly, you'd only have, like, the older sisters out in society. And Lydia's, like, she's also a teenager, isn't she? Like maybe 16 because I remember some line of like married and I'm only like 16 too or something along those lines where it's like we know that Lydia is like somewhere between like 15 16 17 when the series is going on how old is like how old is Wickham <laughs> like if he's like older than her that's really kind of creepy like so I'm just like it's like when I was justifying like why I just like Wickham like I realized like because I clicked him as like he's my least favorite um Jane Austen villain um and I realized like wait th like Wickham is kind of like he is a predator he preys on underage women and that's just like that's something that I didn't realize until I'm looking back at this like at this character as an adult like because when you're like when you're a teenager you don't necessarily realize just how creepy it is for older men to be hitting on women that age because they're still like in a lot of ways like teenage girls are um like don't necessarily have the ability to give informed consent to that sort of relationship and so it is like what Wickham is doing is just like really extra creepy and I'm just like Wickham is like such a freaking sleazeball and I just want to say like Wickham is awful and I didn't like realize just how awful he was until now. Um, <laughs> just that's just something to think about. Thank you and have a nice day.